now that it's not moving, I can figure out exactly what shape I need to cut out from this in order to make it work with the lawn chair so I can strap it in there and it will give me back support well on the trip. All right, let's see what I've done here. Now, I measured all this out. I'm not gonna cut on this line here. I'm gonna cut right in here and I'm gonna curve and then I'm gonna curve again and come back here and curve again and, and do the corresponding cuts over here. Now, the reason for that is, is right can be seen right here on my chair I have a, uh, a this bar right here that I want to strap tight to onto the board but I've also got this bag back here I want room for plus I also want room for a little bit of give for my back so that I'm not shoving a board into my back when I'm sitting on this on this chair so thus the creative shape we have here I'm gonna ease all the corners so nothing catches on the chair and messes it up or anything like that and then we'll be able to just strap this chair down so it won't move another thing I'm doing is right here on the bottom I don't want this sticking out like this over the side of the boat I want it to be shaped like the boat so I'm just gonna take my marker and just trace right along here and I'm gonna do it on the other side too and so I get this right in the same place. I'm going to make marks on the on the boat too, because these sideboards here are just some scrap wood that the former owner just screwed on here to kind of make this boat work, you know, a little more stable. Because there was nothing on the on the plywood frame before he did. I mean, on the fiberglass frame before he did it. And so he was just trying to make it a little more solid, which it worked. Let's go see how it fits. And look right here. I've got I've got room to, to to strap that on there without it, you know, I can just screw the straps down here. I've got room for my little bat pouch back here. Right here, it'll fit just fine. Nothing's gonna hit my back. Well, here we go. I got the chair securely strapped in there. I right, got the spacers in the front. About the same as the space in the back. The chair is slanted the way it should be. It doesn't It's going to move with the boat instead of tipping out of the boat. And Looks like I can probably use this. So we're going to have to go check this out see if See if it's worth anything, you know, if I'd done anything, I probably should put another screw back here on either side. Keep this thing from flopping around. And I think we're in pretty good shape. Well, what do you think? You think this ought to work for going down the river, or do you think I'm too high? Shall we find out? I mean, if it gets too tippy, I might be in trouble. I don't know. But, we'll see. Because I think I'm going to take it on the lake first. And that way if I fall in, I can get out. And we'll find out. It's about the same height as the original seats were. Pretty darn close. It's a couple inches higher. I shouldn't have any problem getting into the water with stuff. Then I can hook something right up here. Right about here, I'd say. Strap the uh, 
tripod to it and I can film it. Now I'd hate to soak my, uh, my camera, so I think I better make sure this thing doesn't fall over first. I'm going to have to take it out and test it, I do believe. So, uh, I guess that's next. Thanks for watching. KeeperTheMountain.com